guys, it's Peggy here with Citrus Templates and today I wanted to show you how you can organize your Google Drive in a very simple way. Um, I know for all of us, me included, uh, your Google Drive can just become this whole jumbled mess of stuff and you just can't find anything. Um, so what you want to do is first set up this very simple folder structure and then every time you create something new, uh, just put it into the folder right away. So this is how I organize my uh, Google Drive for my business. So first you've got your, your business. So this could be the top level of your business. Then I organize it into two, um, two folders. Either this is related to clients and they're like deals and transactions and stuff like that, or uh, everything is on the back end. So that's all the operation stuff. So all of your stuff should either fall into it's related to a client or it's not. And it, then that would go under operations. And I like to number mine so that, um, you know, you can very quickly just organize it, it in a way that you like to see it. So you can just organize all of these and then, and then just click name and it's all uh, set up that way. So let me go into the clients folder first. So this is all of your clients. Again, I've got it organized because I want to see my folders as sellers, buyers, and rentals. So you can, you know, divvy up it however you want. Um, but I always organize it as my seller side, buyer sides, and any rentals that I had. And so each of the folders are the same, just depending on, um, you know, where you are. So into the sellers folder. Now this is then how you can organize each of your transactions. So I would always have a file system. So each transaction gets a folder and it's the, that transaction. So let's say um, it's the year 2023, it's the listing side. So I just have that as an L and it's my first transaction. So 001. So it's really simple. Um, you just, you know, when you have a new transaction, you just put the next number there. And then I just did the address here. You can also do, you know, maybe your seller's names, your client names. Um, I always did it by address. And then, so then everything goes in here, right? Your um, contract, your listing agreement, any, you know, HOA docs, addendums, all of that just goes into this uh, file for that transaction. And then once you're closed and you're done, all the post closings done, then all you have to do is just drag this folder into archive. And so you'll always have it, but you're not going to see it all the time. So in this way, when you open up the seller folder, you only see the active transactions uh, that you're working on. So that's a great way to just organize all of your um, all of your transactions. So same thing on the buyer side. I did 2023-B for buyer and then 001 with the address. Um, and then again, same thing. You put everything uh, buyer related into this folder and then archive it when it's done. So same thing with the rentals. And so this is a great way just to organize your uh, transaction side. Okay. Now going back. Let's say you have other back end stuff, right? This could be scripts. This could be, you know, your profit and loss statement. Um, you know, anything related to um, anything related to marketing or anything like that that's not client related. So how I have it organized is according to my um, eight simple systems that you need for your business. So uh, if you haven't watched that video, I'll include it into the notes so you can go back and watch that video on the eight different systems that you need in your real estate business. So I have found that any document I create, anything that's related to my business uh, falls into one of these eight systems. So it's either related to my business vision um, or related to lead generation, lead conversion, contract to close, client appreciation. That's kind of the front end of what your clients see. And then the back end of your business, tech tools and automation, tracking your numbers and anything doing with your team. So, uh, any document that you create, decide which system it goes under, which folder it goes under, and then just put it in there. So it's just really easy once you create a new document. Let's say I uh, am going to create a new document about with for a new lead generation system. Uh, so let's say I do something like this, Google Doc, and I'm going to say, let's say this is Citrus Realty. These are my, let's say, YouTube video ideas. So once you do that, right, you're going to start writing stuff in this. But what I want you to do is just take the two seconds, go to move. All you have to do is move it into lead generation. You can do more stuff in here, but just say move here. It's there. 
Now it's organized, you can go find it when you need it. Um, and at any time, you can always still go search for it just you know in your Google Drive, but at least you have a place for it uh, when you just start making the document. So I hope that's helpful for you. Again, um, going back to the you know top tier, either you have you have two branches, either it's your documents are related to your clients or they're related to uh, your operations and everything that's non-client related. So I hope that's helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out and I will see you in the next video.